How significant is the gap between 95% and 93% vaccination rates in communities when we're talking about measles? I can't tell you whether the, whether the difference between 95 and 93 is the important difference. I can tell you that there is number where that difference is, right? And we're closer to that number at 93 than we are at 95. And the best way, I, the best analogy I can think of, right, is that immunity in the population, it's like Jenga, right? And every time you remove a piece from Jenga, you're increasing the probability that that tower is gonna collapse, right? And 93 is fewer pieces in the Jenga tower. And one of these days we're gonna pull that last piece and the tower is gonna collapse. And when the tower collapses, that means that we now have persistent endemic measles outbreaks in the United States. And again, by the time that happens, it's too late. So we gotta stop removing the pieces before that happens.